So what was your reaction when you'd to been told that news? Um, shock, obviously, because you, you, even though you might think to yourself, there might be something going on, you don't really think there's going to be something going on, do you? Or you hope that there's not going to be something. I always thought, I thought, oh, I've had a TIA, and then I'm going to have some tablets, and I'll be fine. Yeah, you know? TIA is a transient ischemic attack. Yeah. Basically, a mini stroke which yeah. resolves usually within 24 hours. Yeah, and you know, I just thought, I've had these little, or I've had a little stroke or something that might give me some tablets, and I'll go home, and everything's fine, sort yeah. of thing, you know, and everything, but obviously not. And then, uh, so, and then I thought then, my next thought was, oh my God, my partner's lost his wife 10 years, um, about 12 years ago to cancer. Yes, uh, his ex-wife. Ex well, yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, she uh, died when, yeah, about 12 years ago now of cancer, breast cancer. And I thought, oh my God, he's got to go through that again. Right. You know, and that's what, that's the thought. And then I thought to myself, oh my God, we've got a six-year-old boy. What's going to happen now? Yes. You know, which, you know, all these things in the space of about five minutes, they're kicking into your head. And then I just thought, right, that's it. Mm. I've had my little moan and whatever I need to think about. So and then I went back to see the doctor. And uh, he just says, look, we're going to get you for a scan just to make sure that nothing else is happening anywhere else. It's, you know, it's a primary, not a secondary and stuff, which it was a primary, which I was really, really pleased about because I thought, I, I, I don't think I'd be able to cope with the fact that I've got that up there and something somewhere else. Mm. And then um, and then the week after that, we went to Queen's Med, Queen's Medical. And that's in Nottingham. In Nottingham. Mm. And we had, um, I had a three hour operation on the Wednesday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I've got, we've, they've got it, what they need to get out. Yes. And then um, started, my, I can't remember when my pet therapy was. I think it was a couple of weeks after that. And then I started radiotherapy and chemotherapy tablets, which I was pleased about as well, because um, obviously with the little boy and things, and you know, I didn't really want to be... Going to the chemotherapy suite? Yeah, but I, did, I still had to go to radiotherapy oh. every day. <laughs> but it was only, obviously, was, you know, radiotherapy, you're only there for literally five minutes, mm. and then you, you're out again. It's not yeah. like sitting there all day. Yeah, with, you know, with the drip and things like that and stuff like <clears throat> yes. that. And I've had no sickness when we came chemotherapy either. Mm.